Hello my friends and welcome back to SnowRunner with me Mark from DadX and here we are in Alaska with the starting team, the Chevy, the GMC and the Fleet Star. The rest of the fleet are in the garage apart from the loaf we've left on the Drummond Island map just in case we ever need him but we know where he is if we need to grab him but let's have a look at this map. Right, mission wise, we seem to need to start with this pipeline construction mission, so we're going to activate that. All we need to do is get two pallets of service parts around here. So I think, just so we can say we have, the first mission goes to the GMC on his chain tyres. They've all got chain tyres, very little else has changed. So let's just see, the GMC did set foot on this map very early on just to have a look and we chickened out <laughs> because it looked like we were going to get stuck so here we are I need to calm down with the steering I've not been on the chain tires before I've no idea how they seem to work on the road and the mixture of surfaces yet they are rated good on all surfaces they haven't got a weak point according to the stats so we shall see but we're certainly going okay so far this is as uh, good as road travel on the previous maps so here we go Mr. Wall just I've not worried about manual loading uh, there's not seemed to be any point in it as I said many a time if they develop the game economy a little bit more what's that little timed mission perhaps i don't know it might be a side mission we'll have a look let's get on i want to make good progress on this map the updates i.e the videos are going to be a bit more regular things are a lot more calmer here so between eve and the snow runner there will be progress I may occasionally look at another game, but I won't get distracted. I've got more than enough on my gaming plate to keep me busy and smiling. I like it here so far. It's got a nice atmosphere to it. Oh, a little bit of a bash. Maybe I should pay a little bit more attention. Here we go. Around here. I have been playing that new Cyberpunk Cyberpunk 2027 or 2077 it is a bit odd and glitchy on the Xbox but it does work <laughs> so I don't know they'll fix it crikey I can lock my diffs of course but let's just see how we get on up through here now go on push 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 I think once we're through this bit we should be looking good yeah let's get back into the regular gearbox before we overheat the dips i'm feeling kind of take it a little bit easy on these icy roads when it gets to the corners at speed so here's our first fix is the collapsed pipeline there you go that road is clear Thank you very much. I shall take my rewards. But have a little look on the map. Now, should I? I'm not sure if it's too brave. I'm going to leave the GMC here right now. I don't know whether to go ahead and scout with him yet or not. We need to get the Chevy out, I think. So let's just shut the engine down. Very important. And over to the Chevrolet. Ever faithful, ever dependable so far. Now we have got a lot of money stashed away, about 120,000 and on top of that, between the Pacific and the Twin Steer, that's uh, uh, over a quarter of a million credits, whatever we call in the currency in this world. So we could look at getting another truck, so any suggestions let me know in a comment. There doesn't seem to be anything that's going to be amazing and uh, that amazingly different, I think I should say, because we've got quite a powerful fleet. I'm just going to look on the map before I start getting lost. 
Where do I want to go here? Am I going across here? Nothing ventured. Yeah, we go along here and then up this road. Let's see how that works out for us, shall we? Is this actually frozen over here? I guess there's only one way to find out, is there? Go. That way. Do I not want to be stopping on this ice? I'm guessing if there's rocks there, it's not very deep, to be honest. Well, that was okay. A little bit drifty, but we like that. Very soft here. Get the diff locks on. We're going to move in. Another icy bit. Yeah, I'm going to say the diff's going to heat up because that's definitely a hard surface. And that seems to be the game's main way of deciding whether you should have your diffs on or not. Or locked, I should say. So, we're going to bog down in there, no doubt. We'll get the diffs back locked up. Keep our eyes out for the tower. Should be up the top of this hill somewhere. Yeah, there you go, look. No worries so far at all. What happens if we hit a tree? I don't want to do it yet. If we hit a tree, do we shake any snow off? That would be quite cool. I'm sure we'll find out. <laughs> oh, it's getting very soft up here. And I guess once we got to here with a load, there's nothing to winch on. That's what this map is doing. Look, suddenly, nothing here within winch range. So... We shall bear that in mind. Once we start moving the loads around, especially anything heavy, it might be one of those maps where we need some winch friends stashed around the map just in case. Right, where's this tower? I don't think it can be very far away from here. Look, it's just here. I've nearly driven past it already. It's right over here. Let's go through here. Oh, there he is. Look behind that tree. So we are now off the road and into the snow. Uh, which seems to have not been that good a move. <laughs> come on, come on. Little inch at a time winch pull so we don't break the tree. Oh, tree's gone. It's okay, we're through. So that wasn't great. Don't take the shortcuts through the snow drifts. There you go, there's my first lesson of the Alaska map. We'll let that tree go. Try to be nice to the trees, and then they'll always be nice to us. Right. Where's that tower? There he is. Bit of a bridge across what looks like fluid, muddy water. Do we need an observation? Let's have an observation. You're blinded by the sun. There's a lot of snow and there's a lot of trees. Fantastic. New objective discovered. New objective discovered upgrades we're really after let's have a look on the map anything of interest mission mission fuel station that's handy to know we've got a fuel station it's nice to be back on a map with all these facilities <laughs> garages fuel stations no sign of an upgrade yet that's fine where's the next checkpoint I think we'll just head this way, will we? I think we will. And to get that way, we're going to cut. We're going to go across the bridge. Over here, over here, and that way. That's the plan. So, yeah. Today, I think we're just going to get on with uh, exploring, unlocking the map, seeing what's there. Assessing the situation. Got a nice sticker on the bonnet. There's a few more things to customise your vehicle with. Nothing particularly fantastic, but we've got a track rescue unit sticker because that does seem to be one of these guys' little functions. Is get in there to help out. 
Right, again, we're into snow. Get those differentials locked back up. Don't want the winch on. That was just clumsy buttons from me. This is the way we're supposed to be going, I'm quite sure of it. There we go. Around this tree. There we are. This is exactly where I came in, actually, in the GMC. I'm quite sure of that. I recognise it. And why is he stopped about here? Right, so now we're going straight up this road. So we're not going to need those differentials locked. And yeah, we have a nice and drifty on this icy road. All blinded too. Right. Little review of the situation. Anything to see down there? No. Straight down this road to the tower. Okay, we can do that. Looking good. I like it. I can control a little bit of the slide. I've played enough forcer. <laughs> he says sliding off the road. Right. We. Oh, thank you, camera. Thank you, son. My, the camera is being a little bit of a pain. <laughs> I'm going to give it its due. Um, looks like we're going to hit some kind of bridgey thing here. Might need building. Who knows? We haven't built a bridge for ages. There were two or three episodes back there. That's all we seem to be doing. Here we go. Right. So, what do we need? For the bridge. I'm going to guess it's probably going to be metal beams times one. Where do we get metal beams from on this map? Metal beams. All the way up there at the factory. Okay. So we need to head up unlocking this direction, getting up to the factory, grabbing one metal beam. So we need a truck to go up there. I think that's going to be the Fleet Star. I'll get the Fleet Star around to where the GMC is and we shall continue the action there. Right, we've got the Fleet Star around. We've also brought the Load Star around. We've obviously got to split up and do some scouting at some stage. So, uh, why not save a little bit of time for ourselves? It is 6 o'clock in the morning. It is still quite murky and dark, but we shall just go with it. I'm going to keep a keen eye on the map. So I don't waste too much time heading off in the wrong direction. Right. So we need to head for the factory. I think we're going to head up this road here. At least for now. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll give that a go. So we're going to head up this way. We can split up when we feel that is appropriate. The Lodestar's got a nice little bit of oomph to it. It doesn't kind of accelerate very quickly, but I think it's going to be nice for pushing its way through the snow. That's the plan. The Chevy will leave up where he is for now. Best way to cover a map, obviously, is to split the fleet up. So... Doing okay, we've got some muddy old holes here and not much to winch to. Go for those diff locks. All good so far. What have we got there? A little mission. Ah, we've got some kind of get the trailer out of the swamp mission there. Let's have a little look. There you go, it's like Thunderbird 4 <laughs> being deployed. Can we get over here okay? Go oh, snow blind. Let's see, I think we've got to get down here to activate. Except... fuel station is over here somewhere. Let's get the winch attached to the actual hitching point if we can. No, we can't. Let's see what we can do to shift it. Do we need to get around that side? I think we do. 
pull it backwards first. That's going to work best. Has it seriously not got a winch point on the back? Well, that's a bit silly, isn't it? Alright, we'll give it a go. It's kind of pulling it backwards. There you go. We'll get it pulled round here. Yeah, we can fix that. We can fix that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's a very tough trailer. That's all I can say. Let's get it tipped back over. We'll attach up there. There we go, getting back on his feet. Can we still not attach a trailer? Sorry, attach the winch to his winch point. That would be easiest, wouldn't it? To his attach point. I'm getting very confused with my words now. There we go. It was in the water before, I guess. Come on. Let's get it as far as we can. It might be a little bit heavy for the load star. The fleet star can always come and help. Get into our nice low gear ratios. Well, we're certainly getting the trailer further out of the hole. That can only be a good thing. So let's now just put this guy here. Can we get the winch on there now from here? Yes, we can. Can we winch it? We just keep the accelerator on and the winch running. Just to stop us sliding back. Can we get it up? So to speak. Yeah, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving. We'll move ourselves a little bit now. Look, we've dug ourselves a nice little hole over here. We are learning. We can pull ourselves up in the Fleetwood. <laughs> the Fleet Star. Come on, come on. Come on. There we are. And I think the fuel station is somewhere kind of up ahead of us. Let's have a look. fuel stations up there so if we head up straight up this road we're going to head up the fuel station but we're not heading towards any watch towers so I think this is where we're going to split up maybe we're going to send the fleet star up here with the trailer yeah that seems like a good plan get a job done as he's scouting and the first test. Alright, off we go. Be happy with a load on the truck. Just to put a little bit more weight on the axles. But we shall do our best. There we go. It's a lovely countryside. The sun is a little bit blinding. You have to be a little, little bit careful when you're looking around. There's not much to winch too close to the road, so we're going to stay over to the edge as much as we can, just in case of trouble. Might also be a little bit less soft on the mud. Two. We're going to plan so far, we'll get a little bit of a picture. The load start can head the other way. I think the other way, I have a suspicion is where we might find a new scout vehicle too. The Humvee might be stashed over there. Right, we're getting quite buried here, but we're moving. Yeah, this is where I think something on the back of the lorry would actually help. We're getting a bit more traction, but we're moving. So, if we find the progress like painfully slow too much like this with some of these trucks, we will go for more powerful trucks. But I thought we'd start off here. You know how I like to play things. <laughs> Just see 
and what we can do and what we need to advance I guess in terms of the equipment we're using so as I said any suggestions for the truck we're really missing out on just let me know in a comment and we can certainly have a look at it you can see it's very thick mud underneath the snow but we are moving let's see if we get up this side does it look like it might be a little bit better no an option here would be to detach the trailer and pull it up on the winch because that quite often helps but <laughs> the trees are puny luckily our truck not so much he's doing it right yeah we're going to detach the trailer we're going to get moving a little bit and then we're going to winch him it does seem to make the going a little bit easier it's a very wet bit through here isn't it there you go we seem to have got some traction on the back wheels it's the way that winch seems to pull down on the back of the lorry more than the weight of just the attached trailer pushes on it we're going to reattach the trailer for the downhill bit I think so we've got it under a bit more control there we go he's on I think we can probably just keep the dips locked avoid that rock there yeah we're doing it the mud seems better than the mud with the snow and ice on top you would have thought the mud be pretty frozen but we will work with what we have downhill through here although the snow really does make a huge difference it's very nicely modeled we are scrabbling around again there's nothing to winch to around here or very little Put one tree there he looks quite sturdy we'll use him just to get going camera stop it all right he can't help us anymore I think we are making it to the fuel station and again remember you mustn't steal the fuel out of these trailers that are mission objectives it will let you but you need to top them up before you hand them in if you need to do that we should preserve the truck there's no damage on the truck so far that's amazing for me although the damage is very minimal Quite easy to get some right let's have a look stop engine handbrake map so the factory isn't too far from here is it where's that mission gone the factory is that way so that's back down this road. Okay, the Fleet Star will head back that way. Let's get back to the Load Star. I think we might head along this road and cut up to this one. I'm sure that's the easiest way to get there, although that road seems like it's going that way too. Let's investigate. So we want to go kind of down here, up here, and through here. Something like that. That's the plan. Quick turn around. And there is the option in the garage of only having the chains on the back tyres. I'm not sure if there would ever be a situation where that's best. Let me know. Certainly in the part of it, England where I live, we get snow about once every 10 years. In fact, we were talking about it the other day where I think there's like one or two snowy winters per childhood just so you can remember one or two there's a good eight 
nine, ten years ago. We had two snowy winters in a row, which is quite unusual for here. And uh, very little since. One of the reasons the country comes to a standstill when it does snow is because we don't have chain tyres, we don't have snow ploughs, because uh, they spend most of their time doing nothing. Crikey. It's very wet route. Keeping a wheel out of the mud seems to be helping. Actually, not as bad as it seemed back there, this route here. No winch points around this wet hole. We do have the autonomous winch on the scout vehicles, but if there's nothing to attach to, there's nothing to attach to. Snowy down here. Oh, this is quite exciting, all this newness. There we are. Somebody made the suggestion a long time ago that I'm, you could do the first map on each region. They were kind of, uh, kind of levelled. But I thought just sticking to one and getting it cleared was a bit more... Well, there's one way of doing it or the other, isn't there? I chose that one. <laughs> Come on. All these trees are very flimsy. That one over there isn't. Come on. Going to the highest gear we've got. There we go. down here and then once we're beyond here we shall have to have a review because I think this was the last waypoint that we set very wilderness out here isn't it no one will hear you scream right so I think we've got, this is the way around we've got the map. So we'll keep plodding along this track. Yeah. So I'll put a couple of waypoints on just in case the route isn't as obvious here as it looks on the map, which is sometimes the case. Pretty churned up here. We're heading to town according to the sign. Brilliant. There's a town. This is the road to it. This is what I mean about setting waypoints. It's not at all obvious where the actual track's going down here. It's pretty obvious this snow is very deep though. Let's get on to... No, I want to get onto the other tree. I want to get onto that tree. Or that tree, just to get us going. Let him go before the tree breaks. That one, have a go. That one can have a go. That's a good solid tree, right? Yeah, just yank us up. Gravity gets us back down this bit. If we can winch to that tree, we can winch to that sturdy one there, surely. Not quite. Let's keep keep pulling on that one, but let go before it breaks. Now we can get on the big sturdy one. There we go. Bring the camera back out. We're away. Okay, this ain't a great route for loads. We'll remember that. Quite narrow as well. This looks deep. Oh my word, look. Put a wave into the mud, it's so soft down here. How can it be so cold and so frozen and the mud is so soft? That's a little bit odd. But I know what you're doing, game. It's good, it's good. I'm not complaining. Dragging our way through there.
town to the right of me and an oil field to the left of me. Well, this is the way the tower is, so we'll head this way. Here we are. Is this the tower or just a tower? Chugging along. What happens if we go into the main gearbox now? No, this is the tower. There we are. Launch observation. What can we observe? There's much more to see than just trees and snow. There's the oil. Oil field. Upgrade location discovered. Upgrade location discovered. Fantastic. Right, let's have a look on this map. We are here. What we got around here? We got an upgrade right there. We got drowned Hummer mission over there. We're on the wrong side. I wonder where the drowned Hummer is though. So we need to get a over here now to get to the upgrade and get to the drowned Hummer mission so it's going to be back the way we came and back down here okay I think that's going to be the most sensible route or no we'll go through the oil we'll go through the oil rig field place lost tube right wet down here nothing to winch to that i can see but it's feeling pretty solid okay we're good through here wow we've unlocked a lot on that map that'll be keeping us busy this truck is now storming along into here and where was the road? Straight out the other side? That way. I want to go that way. Yeah, straight out the other side, get the upgrade, and then figure out where this Hummer is. Oh, fuel trailer, and we can use that one. Right, where's this up? Oh, camera, you really can't do that to me. Oh, wow. What? Well, there's the Hummer over there. By the look of it. Let's get out of the water. Where's the upgrade? There. How do I get there? Okay. We'll figure this out. Let's grab some fuel while we're here. Be rude not to. Aha! Right. There's the square. We've got to just get into that square. Come on. We're in the square. We have got an engine upgrade for the Western Star Twin Steer and the Caterpillar. So not the most useful to us right at the moment, although of course we do have a Twin Steer. Right, let's see what the story is. Oh my word, no, let's be careful here, let's be careful here. We're not going that way. Let's get this camera sorted out. There's a big old rock right there. No, I don't want to winch there. I want to winch over that way. But that is a big rock. Take me around that rock. That's fine. Now we can take care of ourselves, I think. So do we need to get across these rocks to go and get that Humvee? Because I'm assuming if we cross, we can't get across there. And then the pipeline's in the way. I know there are a couple of places on the map. You can get under the pipeline, but this is not one of them. 
so. Ooh. I guess nothing ventured, nothing gained, hey? We've not invested too much. We're exploring, we're having fun. We're here to find boundaries. Can we get across here and get that Humvee out? Come on, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. We just must not linger in the water. This truck has not got the best ground clearance for getting up on those ledges, but we're doing it, we're doing it. Right, take a time, get positioned, go, go, go. There's the Humvee. There's the mission pickup. We're a little bit bogged down right here, but we're going to figure it out. We're gonna, oh, we're on a rock. We're on a rock. I didn't see that one. I didn't see that bad boy come in. I'm sure we can get off of him. There you go. Rock cleared. Bring me that Humvee. Show task. Except start tracking. Where have we got to take this? Get him out of the river, out of the water, and then we'll have a look. So we need to take the drowned Hummer to the parking, which is... Oh, back at the garage, okay. Now I think we can get along here and under here. Let's give that a go. Straight out about here. We'll keep an eye out. I'm sure around here somewhere we can duck under the pipeline. It's gonna save us a bit of a scurry around. Famous last words I know. Let's just get the Humvee turned round because that's bound to make things easier isn't it let's no no yes I'm going to tip it bloody over now no come on just drag it round drag it round Work with me, Humvee, work with me. Yeah, there you go, just down here. In fact, it looks like we can get out. Under the pipeline there. We'll have to track back around. So if we get through there, we've got to get through all that rubbish, I think. Let's see, let's stick close to the trees. Such as there are. Don't need that one. Yes, we do. We're stuck on that tree now. <laughs> that was naughty. See, nature's saying don't be naughty, so we won't be naughty. But that snow looks quite deep over there, right? In the off-road gears. Let's go. My plan is to go. For, I don't know. Do we dip straight under here and hope for the best? be fit yeah we're going to be doing it so we're going to carry on doing it problem is the nearest there's a lot of trees around which is kind of good but the nearest road is a little way over there yet I can leapfrog if necessary like so Winch this guy forward some. Get him vaguely lined up with where we might want him to be. And then we're going to winch the Humvee up to join us. We've got to get through this gap. Oh, we're moving. That's even better.
Take it back, we're not moving. How far away is the Humvee? I can't see the camera really, isn't it? Oh! How did I end up winched to a tree? Where's the Humvee gone? There he is. Probably explains why we stopped moving. So there's that tree there. So we need to get through this gap. Once we're through this gap. Where are we going to go now? Now we're winched onto the Humvee. We're moving. Get that Humvee through, let's get the Humvee through. If we can get the Humvee to give us a little, little bit of a nudge here, it might actually help. I'm not sure if we're just a little bit stuck here between these two trees. Let's use that winch there. Just, ah, there you go, there you go. I think we've made it. I've just got to get the Humvee through this gap. That looks about right. Come on. To me. To me. Yes. Yes, <laughs> we've made it. There you go, our first little success. And it's straight down this road to the parking, I believe. And I assume, does that mean we've got a free one? Once we get this back, let's find out, shall we? Is it worth going back into this gearbox or is that not going to help? Doesn't look like the kind of road we're going to pick a road. Route we're going to pick up a lot of speed on. So we shall just plod along. Now for those of you that miss him and wonder why I didn't bring the loaf. He's, until he gets some upgrades, which we're going to do this map in uh, Russia, he's not going to get for a good while. He gets through stuff and he gets everywhere, although he's untested in the snow. We might bring him in just to have a look. But he's just so slow until he gets some more power. That was me being distracted for a moment, almost called complete disaster. There is the GMC right where we left him. which is good, isn't it? Vehicle, vehicle security doesn't seem to be much of an issue around here. I'm pleased to say. Right, we are back on the good stuff. And we are nearly home dry. Let's get a nice little picture there, look at that. So is this going to be a new member of the team and is he any good? Is an unmodified Humvee going to compete with our souped-up Mega Scouts? That, I think, is going to remain to be seen, because I think we're going to call it an episode right here. That's the first good little dive into the Alaska region. Completed a couple of missions. we found a couple of towers. We've hit a wall. We've got an achievement. <laughs> Collided with a truck while driving a red-coloured... <laughs> what was that? Show me that achievement. Collided with a truck while driving a red coloured scout vehicle and took less damage. Oh, cool. Cool. So, I don't want to go in the garage, I want to go here. And there we are. Mark is very grateful. Oh, I didn't realise I was doing a favour for a fellow Mark. That's even more amazing. Can I now change the truck? I can. Right, there you go. We'll be back in the next episode with the Hummer. So thank you very much for joining us. Oops. We'll be back very soon. Any comments, suggestions for a big truck we might want to buy and try, feel free. Leave it a like if you've liked it. Subscribe if you want to know when the next episode is up. I'll be back very soon. But for now... 
Take care of yourselves and goodbye.